Welcome back to the Time Walk Show. Sometimes you just see a card in a pack and you don't even have to look at it. You're like, meh, okay. Blightsteel's cool. Yeah, all right. Booyah! See, now, now if we draw like a Seagate... What's that card called? Seagate Oracle? Seagate Restoration? <laughs> I don't even know the name of the card. Seagate Stormcaller? I think that's what it is. Or a Snapcaster Mage. It's looking real spicy. Let's do Amped Fills. That's an odd stip. We can only take odd cards, except for power. That doesn't. Is anyone still here? Did everyone leave while I went to go to the bathroom? And If you guys are here, can you let me know? All right, so it's got to be... Must take only odd casting cards. You can take cards that cost X as long as they are played for an odd number. Color does not matter. Twitch seemed to die. I mean, I'm still alive. So, that's cool. So, we can take Deceiver Exarch, but it's not great because... I guess we'll take Riffling, actually. That's a good one. Um, Deceiver Exarch's not great because Splinter Twin is a four-mana card. And that's not what we're looking for here. Oh, Coalition Relic is a nice one. Um, also, I picked up a an, an AMD Ryzen 5900 today, which was very, very nice because I've been trying to grab one for a while. So that'll, that'll be upgrading my current processor, and I should be selling my current processor. Post haste, I'll take Coalition Relic. I left, never coming back. Bet. That's what Michael B would say. Bet. Oh, Mediocre Magic Man said, Twitch isn't working, I can't chat. I'm guessing others are having the same issue, can still watch. Okay, well, I'm here. I'm still here for you guys. Just tweet at me then. And uh, I can hear you there. And then we can be Twitch friends. I like Euro. Euro actually kind of gets around it, which is kind of sweet. Doretti is also really sweet. I think Doretti is better than Euro. Oh, I like Ugin a lot, but... I'm going to take Through the Breach, actually. Wait. Yeah, we can still get Emrakul and one Ulamog. Can't get, like, Ashen Rider. Do I just Watery Grave? I think it's probably Watery Grave. No, it's Through the Breach. Man, I really want this Torrential Gear Hulk, but uh, I I can't take it. I Dig Through Time is also good, but I can't take it. Let's take a Flooded Strand, I guess. Probably better than Fatal Push. Oh, rag oh I can't take Signets either. Or the C C Seagate Stormcaller that I just mentioned would be great. It was a bad time to do this dip. I'm going to take Spire Bluff Canal. <laughs> oh, God, but Rakdos, Signet. Uh, we can Basalt Monolith, I guess. It's either Basalt Monolith or Sword of Feast and Famine. Batter Skull's interesting. Can't Nahiri, can't Walking Ballista. I think I'm just going to take Phyrexian Rager, which is super weird. Ugh. Actually, we can take this because if we play it for, uh an even cost or an odd cost it'll work so we can take shatter skull smashing which is fine i think we're just taking to see rex arc anyway we can still get a kiki jiki i'll take a lava claw reaches
trinket mage? We can do a trinket mage. Okay, so a lot of people are messaging me saying they're having a hard time with Twitch right now. So that explains where you guys all are. I understand. Yeah, you guys can see if refreshing helps. Um, this is... See, now we can Mirari Conjecture. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll take this guy. the other reindeers so now we're just hoping for mox and ancestral recall oh one thing i like is that fallen shinobi is a five drop but it acts like a four drop and that's kind of cool so i think i'm taking fallen shinobi here the only alternative is like lightning bolt nah i don't like that fallen shinobi is a great four drop for our deck <laughs> oh man factor fiction and frost titan and a causal like oh god it's what we wanted it's what we wanted but it's not it's not ideal i think it's just thought sees here and we can't take this, this, or this, and those are the three cards we want. So, Thought Seize it is. Okay, so you're going here, you're going here, and you're going here. Ooh. 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 Wow. I think it's just Brazen Borrow. I don't really want to expand into these colors, even though, good lord, do I love them. And Brazen Borrow gives us a pretty nice effect. God, I think I have to go. Oh, it almost took the Oko. Maybe that's a sign. Okay, well, it, I didn't mean to double click on that, so it couldn't have been that much of a sign, I guess. Let's take Volcanic Island. Seems like a pretty easy pick here. We can also get it with our flooded strand. <clears throat> oh, the bayou in case one of them comes back. That's pretty cool. Prismatic Vista is also pretty sweet. Vendillion Click is also just good. We can't search for bayou, so I think we're going to abandon that. I think it's either Vista or Vendillion Click. I think it's Vendillion Click because we just need more threats and also if any swords come back <clears throat> that would be pretty cool so here i want inferno titan or choops but we're gonna have to take Colagon's command because this is actually a, a really hard step we, we don't have that many options and i'm kind of grateful for all these packs that have at least one thing i can take like a time spiral for example see that's a good one i'll take that
Okay, Narset's actually decent. What if that Leovold comes back? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I mean, the alternative is Gilded Lotus. Those are our two options here. So I'm going to take the Narset. And our opponents are going to be like, why is your deck full of all these, like... So this is an X spell. So I can take it, which I kind of like. It's a nice little workaround here. Oh, God. Really? This pack's terrible. There should definitely be, like, a couple of vetoes here, but I can't discuss that now, so I'll just take Acidic Slime. Uh, now I gotta take Willow Strider. That's actually not the worst. Having to take Gideon in this pack is pretty bad, though, so... That sucks. Well, we got these two guys. <clears throat> <coughs> oh wow we get an oh no we don't we still have to take maelstrom pulse wow that's terrible we could have literally had a last pick that's insanely discouraging that is unfortunate Okay, <clears throat> well, Mana Vault, we got a Scalding Tarm, but we also have a Mana Vault. I think we're just taking the Mana Vault. Boy, Twitch is really borked right now. Um, hmm. well, this is so sad. It's funny because we get the good cards when we're doing a stiff and we can't take them. It's it's very funny how it works out. Like our options here are literally Dark Dwellers or Worn Power Stone, really. Could take Teferi. We could actually just be white <clears throat> instead of like maybe black. But then we have to like, we'd cut Fallen Shinobi to ready. Could also just be like four colors, take this Teferi. Your Borks? God damn. I kind of like Dark Dwellers with Time Walk, to be honest. Yeah, I'll take a Dark Dweller, sure. What the hell? See, then we can get this Teferi. Oh, boy. Sneak Attack. That would go good with our Through the Breach. That's not going to let us cast anything. I think it's just Creeping Tarpet. I think Ophiomancer or Golos might come back. Oh, we can't actually take Sneak Attack anyway, because it's four mana. Oh, come on. Brutal. Absolutely brutale. Mirror, Battle Sphinx. God, I can't take Consecrated Sphinx. It's basically power in my, in my world. I'm going to take this Tundra. We can get it with Flooded Strand, and if either of the Teferis come back, it's pretty sweet. Plus, there's nothing in this pack for us. <clears throat> Wandering Fumeral. Literally the only card. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Actually, everything is even in this pack, so it might be a freebie. It might be Sower. Um, so here we have Bone Shredder, which is, okay, High Tide or Goblin Welder. We could not take Crater Hoof, right? It was eight. Yeah, I'll just take Bone Shredder. Oh, Blood Crypt is nice. That's a little treat. Yeah, I'll take a Blood Crypt. <sighs> Midnight Reaper, Lyra. This is such, like, I mean, it's so sad we're passing, like, control magic here. Could just be Oblivion Ring. <clears throat> hmm.
So many red, angry red warnings in browser JavaScript console. Twitch is very broken. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Oh my god, we got so lucky here. Six, or we can take one of the, these two because there's nothing else in here. So we have Deceiver Exarch with Splinter Twin. That's a two. That's a two card combo. But then Grave Titan's just good. I think we're just taking Splinter Twin here. Because also allowing us to play Deceiver Exarch is good for Fallen Shinobi. Okay, we can just take Golos here. And now we can actually play the Tundra. And if we can splash green off the Coalition Relic, it's actually pretty decent. This is 24 cards. We gotta make one cut. <clears throat> Seven and one. Yeah, I'll just take Palancron. Hissing Quagmire is playable. Sure, we can take a Hissing Quagmire. <gasps> we get a free Croxa? Oh, that's kind of cool. But it's banned and modern. It's true. Okay, I don't think this turned out as poorly as it could have. Sort by converted mana cost. Mana costuses. You can go. Trinket Mage doesn't do anything except for get Mana Vault, and I don't think that's good enough. Which is good, because you need, like, one cut anyway. Riftwing can go over here. I don't know if we're Marari conjecturing. Like, we have <clears throat> Time Walk, Thoughtseize as Sorceries, and then we have literally Kolagons. I'm just not impressed with this card when I play it. So this is 23. Our mana looks great. We have multiple Time Walks. We have Time Walk, Time Warp, and Dark Dwellers. Basalt Monolith gives us <clears throat> access to earlier Golos and Mere Battle Sphere. We have a combo. All right. I mean, let's see what this can do. Okay. Well, let's put you over here. Okay. So, blue, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight okay with it are you allowed to clap uh, yeah well there's no i mean like I, I know as much as you do right like it just says t must take only odd casting cost cards you can take cards that cost x as long as they're played for an odd number so if i play explosion i have to do it for like seven or nine or something i want hissing quagmire in there because we have golos my dude come on come on come on okay <clears throat> that's eight three four five can flood strand get a red no no unfortunately three four five six seven seven and then two three four five six seven this is eight seven seven with a coalition relic that seems pretty good there's only 16 lands wait what am i missing oh because we have shatter skull smashing i always forget Yeah, that seems fine. I can't believe I missed my friend. His name is Golos. Golos. <clears throat> flooded strand can get red yeah i know it gets volcanic volcanic island i said that i thought i did one because we should have nine right because we have the shatter skull smashing now so one two three four five six seven eight. Oh, eight. yeah because it's eight eight seven <clears throat> so it's one two three four six seven yeah eight eight seven i like it
Let's bring it home. Hmm. So, <clears throat> without a blue, I'm still going to keep this because we have like eight sources of blue. H H I G L H F. <clears throat> oh, we have all the turns. <clears throat> Taking all the turns. Tundra off the top would be spicy. We still have, we still have time. Oh, that's a good one, too. Let's take it. Take it to the limit. One more time. Also, Colagon's Command. If they play a creature, we can Colagon's Command kill the creature and this. Okay. That's, that's a little bit harder to fix. Yikes. <clears throat> well, let's just hope they don't kill us. That's what I hope in every match. I'm like, just don't kill us. I don't know where you're going, but can you call in sick? What's that from? Show me a sign. Oh, when he's talking is that when he's talking to Ned Ryers? Ned? Uh, <clears throat> That's a solid twofer. We can actually take our turn, time walk. Bounce the sulfuric vortex. I wish we had like, if we draw mana vault here, it'd be insane. Oh, we were drawing Thoughtseize. We knew what we were drawing. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, sure. I appreciate movie cold knowledge. I apologize most of my... Hey, buddy, what? Antibody, you apologize way too frequently. Ned? Ned Ryers? <clears throat> I am going to warp myself. Hope to draw Mana Vault. Play Battlesphere. Basalt Monolith? Eh, it's kind of close. It also lets us explosion next turn for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So three, I guess. There are, but there's no flaw being acknowledged. Really, that's not. There's no flaw there. Take it to the limit. Hmm. I guess I should have known that was in their hand. I totally forgot about that for some reason. Maybe because I'm stupid? I don't know. Whatever.
I actually kind of want to just explosion this guy, to be honest. Blue, blue, red, red, one. I'm just going to do it for one because I have to. That's what the stip says, right? <clears throat> you can take cards as long as they are played for an odd number. Damn it. I mean, you still get to draw a card and not take two here, which is totally fine. But now they're probably going to be like, why didn't you just do it for two, stupid? I'm going to be like, well, you see. Yep, Vortex. Okay, I'm pretty sure that barring something completely unnatural that we should be in good shape here. Because they're going to go to 8, so they're at virtual 6. We're at 5, but they have 2 cards in hand. So, light up the stage for full value, and that should be game. <clears throat> Good game. I really love to play Knight of Autumn, but I don't think we have the mana base for it. I kind of just want to splash it anyway, though. <laughs> like, what do we got? Tundra, Hissing Quagmire, Flooded Strand to get Tundra, Coalition Relic, Golos. And it's really good against two of the cards we saw, Sulfuric Vortex and... I want to bring it in. I really don't want to... Uh, what, a, what a wild decision. Oh, uh, this hand seems fine. It's a little slow. It's not great if they have their guy. It's actually real slow. I don't know if it's any good. Tundra? Night of Autumn. Ha! Ha ha I mean, to be fair, if we... Cast Coalition Relic and put a counter on it. We can actually cast Knight of Autumn the next turn, so. Okay. Well. Okay. Ooh, I kind of like that. Because that just gets us a Tundra. I don't think we need to do it now, though. I'd rather take less damage. <sighs> Whoa, Strider. Yeah, this is pretty bad. This is looking rough. So if they have Ember Shieldbreaker, it's bad. Take it to the limit. Okay. Vendillion click. You're not what I want to draw. Oh wow, this work. This is uh wow. Oh. I'm going to get a green here. That's a white. I meant to get a green, but that's okay. Um, two, three. I mean, this is a solid turn.
Oh, Flamey McSlasherton. Okay. I got one more removal spell, because that's good. And you're attacking for like six billion. This was not a hard, this is not, what you're going face. And then you're going to Grim Lava Mance of the Night? But that's, that's worse because you're like, you're preventing me from blocking here. Unless you have a third. Yeah, I mean, this is all, yeah, this is what I figured you'd do. But now I get to block four, so if you just shot this guy with Lightning Bolt, you would have hit me for an extra point here. So we got a five. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Well, that'll do, pig. That's all I need to see. Yep, that's really good. We're gonna have this card in our hand every game, I guarantee it. Okay, this is pretty good. Um hmm. I think we can actually ship an island. We can go <sighs> See, this is gonna be hard to play though. I think it's time warp here. If they have shield breaker turn one, it's rough. Three fucking games in a row. God, it's so exhausting, dude. It's so exhausting. You've had this every game out of three. <sighs> Jesus. You got it. Two for one? Sounds good. I guess it's a two for two. <laughs> of course. Fucking hoisted by my own petard.
Did you just do that? To, you just went face with that? That's interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, it's been better. It's been better. This is a rough. This is a rough step. There should definitely be uh, vetoes in this tip. Lamp. Just gonna concede here. There's nothing we can really do. So that's fun. All right, that seems pretty good. Okay. Tap this guy. It's Christmas time in the city. Yeah, we can play this tap. We're not going to play Sower here for obvious reasons. This guy coming down now? No. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of this guy. I'm blooded. Check it and see. I've got this Urza. It's right next to me. Okay, that guy's cool. That's a cool dude. Let 
That rat is my favorite Avenger? I don't even know what that means. Do we think they have an Ancestral Recall? Kind of? Red, red. Oh, they didn't. We just got rid of that guy? Oh, baby. Five mana to deal one, draw one. I mean, that's... That's okay. It's your boy. I have definitely been cast. Well, that wasn't even electrolyzed because it only dealt one damage. Good lord, it's like a, a elect half electrolyze, half half -tralize. Hot blooded, hot blooded. Electrolyze. It's what plants crave. <laughs> See, that's funny. Time walk. Give me that time walk. Actually, Shatter Skull's pretty good, right? So you block here, you take five. That's what Father likes. Okay, they're just gonna they're just done. Stop bouncing my things. What if Terry Crews ran for president? I think Terry Crews is a wholesome, uh, moral upstanding man. So realistically I would not have any issue with that. Give me a blue source. That's not a blue source. We can tap our mana vault on turn one to play a basalt monolith. Oh, interesting. Still need a blue source. That's some big brain tech right there. It's it's good. It's a subtle play, but it's good. actually kind of worth it worth Open for a land. Oh, actually, I didn't realize we could just win here. I was actually going to, I was literally going to fall, I was going to fall in Shinobi, but I guess we could just win instead. So that's kind of cool. Oh boy, <laughs> that was a hell of a thing. That's insane.
How you guys doing on the old Twitch? Are we looking better? Viewership looks better. You guys are chatting a little more. Well, we're going to mulligan this hand. We're going to keep this hand. We're going to ship two. This hand's very good. Um, we'll ship Narset. I think everything else is pretty sweet. Want to say thank you for being a distraction and being there these last few months. I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm clean now. I'm really glad to hear it. It means a lot. That you don't have your soap addiction anymore. It does. It also means a lot if they play a creature and we Coligons command it and kill their Gruel Signet. God, Coligons command is a banger. Oh, Lord. They took three, too? Oh, boy. I don't want to bounce this. Nope. Thank you. I mean, theoretically, they're going to recast it, play a land, right? But if they play this as their land, they might not have another land. <gasps> Water sports, Drew. Oh my God. I was just talking about you the other day, my dude. I, I literally made a Mama's in the Kitchen with Onions reference that I thought you'd appreciate. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is a guy. I actually think I'm going to ask the sweet edition of the cube. Dude, I haven't played Paper Magic in probably like a year and a half. No, it's probably like a year. It's probably been a year. I think the last time I played Paper Magic was like in January.
Actually, Golos is pretty sweet here. You can cast Golos. Doo -doo -doo. You can cast Tundra and almost have your lands. We wanted a second blue, which is why we got a Tundra. I just made a YouTube playlist of cute videos featuring you and Mike B. It's got 102 videos in it. Good gravy. That is a lot. A lot of things are happening right now. They got Scalding Tarn, they played they played a land, so they got two of these things. They gained four, they got four mana. Oh boy, things are happening right now. Thankfully, we do get to Fallen Shinobi, and that's pretty cool. Jesus, their deck looks fantastic. <sighs> Omnath, Felidar Retreat, and Primeval Titan is just bananas. Five five, huh? Well, don't like that. Let's bounce. Let's get rid of a three three, I guess. Come on, Wrath of God. <laughs> Dragon Lord of Tarka and Yorion? Oh, wow. That's... Exile any of the Renali weapons you own and control. Okay, so I couldn't even target. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty good. I mean, as far as cards that are going to get me back in the game, that ain't bad. Uh, let's get Hissing Quagmire now. Wow. Well, that was pretty cool. Look at all that hair. Just look at it. Yeah, I need a haircut, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, questing beast. Okay. Actually, how do we go to the league? Hmm. 
Okay. These aren't super impressive things. Oh, they're going to put counters on all their things. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, having multiple lands to do this multiple times is pretty good. Yeah. No oh, good, more things. Never ends. Just literally just doesn't have an ending. Okay. Kill Golos. Yep, cool. Block here, double block here, take 10. Block here, block here, block here, take 9. Two more lands come into play. Yep, let's just concede that. Like, there's nothing we're doing here that's actually going to make any fucking difference. Not sure our hand gets better than that, actually, so that's unfortunate. Thank you. Kimmy-san, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Oh, tier two. Oh my god, thank you so much. Uh, this was a step. You guys can always check step by doing command step and see what's going on. There you go. I will play first. You know, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Having time walk, time warp, and dark dwellers is pretty sweet. If we can draw a volcanic island, this hand is actually... Fantastic. Okay. Signet. Devoted druid. Oh, wow, that's really good. Um, hmm. I kind of just want to Kuligons make them discard. I mean, if the strategy is you always bolt the bird, always bolting the devoted druid is almost even better. Uh, I use a Logitech Brio. Let's grab your questing beast. Oh, they didn't have a questing beast. Elspeth conquers death. That's good. Primeval Titan. That's good. Don't care about Rex Sage Searcher Yorion. I think we just want the Elspeth conquers death. I feel like they're just going to search and then play Scalding Tarn. I mean, because we have Time Walk, and if we hit a red source in the next two turns, we get to go Dark Dwellers, Time Warp, which is actually a lot of damage. Three, four, five, six. First turn, second turn, third turn. So we get to go Time Walk, Dark Dwellers, Time Walk, Time Warp. It's three extra turns. <sighs> One red source. Uh, that's okay. Could have also taken a blue source and then we could have copied it. Uh, 
That's rough. Wow, and then we hit fucking lands. The exact two of the exact lands we need. That's pretty incredible. <laughs> That's wow, is that luck? Yep, that's your that's your boy. Huh. Okay. Well, that gives us a turn. Oh, we should have played that first. Then we could have Shatter Skull Smashing, Time Warped, Vendillion Clicked, Goblin Dweller, Time Walked. Boop. Hmm. I think this is still okay. It's still a lot of damage. Oh, they also don't have... They have... We have Menace, so... That's actually fine. That guy goes to the trash can. Sculling turn's gone. Search is gone. So, is this, is this your hand? Yorion Rex Age Primeval Titan? If so, I think we're in good shape here. I think we might just win, actually, if they do this. Yeah, I think I think this is like actually game. They go to 10. Then we go 4 and 7. They go to 3, and then we time warp and kill them. Alright, well... Time walks are a hell of a thing. One, two, three. Let's actually uh, use red here because that's how that works. Dark dwellers. Um, we're just gonna play this. Oh, also, I don't think they could have drawn off of Narset. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Forgot about that. You know what? I'll be honest. If I get more money after you watch the ads rather than skipping them, I have no idea how much it is. They have a lot of lands. I don't like it. I'm tempted to bring in the Celestinorn. <laughs> Can we get double white? We have to get Tundra Coalition Relic. It doesn't seem very easy, I'll be honest with you guys. Um... Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what we can get with this. I think an island is probably the only thing we can get. Oh, that was perfect. Now we got Spire Bluff into... Or, uh, Kroxa into, into Coalition Relic. Oh, harmonize, huh? 
Well, that negates my land. Land stealage. Is really good to fill our retreat. That seems late. Sure. <laughs> Main phase Vendillion click is super interesting here. Oh, they just let me keep everything. That is nice of them. Let's get a blue. Euro. <laughs> what if we draw Splinter Twin? That'd be cool. Omnath, really? Oh, well, that sucks. Yep, that's... God, I feel like I never have Coalition Relic on the board for more than, like, one turn here. It's pretty wild. Yeah, I was like, are you not playing Devoted Druid here? I was tempted to tap the Boros Signet to take them off red in case they had Omnath, but I feel like that's pretty narrow. And I would have had to draw it like this turn. That's pretty good. I'm just going to make him spend six again. It's not great, but... It's pretty brutal.
There's only five lands, so that's okay. She ain't flipping yet. Let's just top deck Splinter Twin. I have not seen the Elder Scrolls 6 teaser pick. Is it by Bethesda? Because I know Starfield is what they're working on before Elder Scrolls 6. So unless they have two separate teams working on both games simultaneously, I'd be really surprised if they gave us a teaser of Elder Scrolls when Starfield has literal nothing. Okay, I'm going to look up the final and find the Bethesda account. I don't see anything on the official Bethesda account. Can you link it? You already figured it out? What does that mean? Hmm, that's fascinating. A little, little late, but that's okay, I guess. Man, it'd be great if we had one removal spell for this guy, but... Uh... And if they want to kill Battlestar, they're going to have to actually kill Elspeth, so it's a fine trade for us. I don't know if this is a teaser per se. This is like this just looks like a, a happy new year with a skyfall with a an Elder Scrolls map on it, you know. Well, they're gonna kill Deceiver Exarch here because it's one of the few things that can actually uh threaten them to lose the game immediately, so. What? Oh my god, please let me draw Splinter Twin and punish them. Come on. Yeah, well, that's a thing, I guess. And that's how you do one. Elspeth conquers death and control magic. Oh, boy. Well, what can you do? Uh, we can't click ourselves. You get some non-land. You can't take lands. Otherwise, I would have clicked myself immediately. Oh, Phil, what up? I didn't even see you in the chat, my dude. 
Yep. So what is this? Eight, six. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, oh goody. Well, that'll do. Wait, what was in our graveyard? Oh, we had Croxa, I guess. We could have croxa but that's not going to stop this guy. Um, wow. All right. Well, 2-1. Amped, Phil. Thank you for the stipulation. Really appreciate it. Even if we uh, did not get there with it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash Laporte, And be sure to come to the channel and follow or subscribe if you can spare it it's a great way to support the channel it really helps me out a ton and uh you know I, I feel like i put out a ton of free content for you guys so if you guys want to support uh really really appreciate it it's a great way to keep me alive uh that's how i eat dinner and have a roof over my head so be sure to do that and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching